an important message from the Victorian government. Authorised by the Victorian government. Melbourne. There we go. Uh, okay, we are rolling again. We are rolling. Josh, take it away. What's the next topic? Oh, modeling, 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 modeling. Okay. <laughs> so. Okay, we're making good time. We're making good time though, compared to the last. Okay, so um, Af Gladys then. Gladys butter chicken. I know what you want to call her, Gladys. Very too clean. Please hold. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She finally has released the modeling. Um, two weeks behind schedule because the modeling was made on 25th of August and we're recording this one on a Monday on the 6th of September. So we finally have the modeling in um, and it's looking all right. Cast numbers are expected to peak. By the way, in the first episode, we never, in the first part, the first time we recorded, we never actually got to the modeling. So you're actually lucky. Yeah. I actually got to the modeling now. You know what's, fu- you know, you know, you know what's a bit of a coincidence? I told uh, Joseph about this earlier. You know the last outbreak that the Aval- uh, Avalon cluster? Avalon cluster, wasn't it? Yeah. You know how we did a memes today report and then the cases went down immediately? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't do a memes today report. Look where we are now. Damn it, no, we should have done a memes report. Oh well, now we're doing this. Yeah, we go- so, uh. Um, right, this is good enough anyway. Modeling has finally came out, and what we've learned now about the modeling is that ICU beds will not be filled up completely, which is really good. However, case numbers are expected to peak at about 1,000, about 2,000 until next week. And then, uh, you know, and the Gladys Butter Chicken has announced that double dose vaccination targets will be freedom. So, yeah, that's the modeling. No one cares about the stupid modeling, honestly. It's just a bunch of numbers. Oh, and in other news, in other news, I forgot to mention this. Oh, you finally got it. (laughs) I now have my... This man, this man waited a full month to get his one. Don't To actually finally book it. Hang on, don't don't start making fun of me, yeah? I'm sorry, Eli and I have already got it four to five Yeah, but hang on, we agree that Elijah got it illegally. (laughs) Okay. Okay. (laughs) Hang on. He got it illegally, okay? And see, unlike you, I'm actually getting my second as three weeks three weeks apart or four weeks apart. I'm sure gonna get my calendar out. Hang on, please hold. Josh, please put the hold music. Uh, oh my god. Okay, we're back <laughs> We're back from the hold music. Thank you, Josh, for the hold music. It is three weeks apart. It is three weeks apart. Um, so my first dose as you can see is on the 15th. Hang on. The 15th of the 9th. And second dose on the 16th of the 10th, and those are the times. Um, so I like doing it at GP because GP is much better than doing it at Kudos only, Bank Arena. Only took him, only took about 60% of our grade that we're in at school to get the jab. Yeah, but hang on. To find the bookies off. Yeah, hang on, the left This shop. man was actually gonna. Listen, you were gonna wait till either Moderna was available. Or when 16 year, uh, 16 year olds were allowed to book for a vaccination. Yeah, but I did it. With the with the with no, with the ladder <laughs> You didn't even go. Yeah, but I didn't want to go to Kudos. I don't want to wait eight weeks. By the time I get What's wrong with Kudos? By the time you get by the time I get fully immunized, New South Wales will be open and I'll be stuck at home with my first dose and I can't go anywhere. It's called being smart. Being smart. Booking your second dose. Oh, you, your if GP. you were smart, you would actually book it earlier. I'll show you that Gov Dore you to book your vaccination by the way for a normal Christmas. Apart from those in WA, I hope you all die in a hole. And those in Because <laughs> <laughs> why would you want to live there? I mean, seriously, you can't even take food to WA. That's a bit sad. Anyway. I don't, un- I don't understand the difference between... Have I showed you? I nicked some Qantas headphones. Yeah, from the flight from Japan, from Canada, wasn't it? You Wait, was it? Wasn't it Canada? Alaska? Okay, what flight was it from? It, okay, so it was either from the US or Japan. No, Japan I didn't fly Qantas. Or Singapore. 
I think it was the US. But anyway, if you want some broken Qantas head for, uh, oh, headphones. Broken? Uh, You've already broken them. Hearing. Oh, I don't know if they work or not. Um, I, I have no clue if they work or not. If you want a water damaged iPhone oh, here we SE go. that has sea that has salt in it that doesn't turn on, it doesn't it hasn't turned on since 2017. If you want it, plus the case, uh, all you need is uh, around. Hmm, $3,000 plus a 14, a 14 day hotel quarantine fee, as well as a G2G pass, as well as having a first dose of either Pfizer or AstraZeneca, uh, GST, and shipping not included. Hey, right, infamous. <clears throat> you all can remember oh, this. <laughs> right, Josh knows what he's talking about because, like I said, we filmed this before. Um, these are my yep. AirPods. Um, um, so let's just zoom in there. I don't know if you guys can tell. That is some nail polish. Hang on. That is some nail polish remover right there. Um, I have nail polish remover on it. Okay, so I did. I don't think I told Josh this part of the story yet. So I told Josh this has been in the washing machine three times. Okay. And that's why he's getting a refund for breaking his own stuff. <laughs> I don't understand now. No, no hang on, I told you, refund for something else for Father's Day, which we return. Okay. Anyway, so they broke, um, and there was dirt and dry, which water wasn't. Removing. So what I did was I went and got nail polish remover and I removed it. Little did I figure out that it was peeling the paint as well. And pretty much the third time they were in the wash, they broke ish. The microphone on them is gone. Let's get that out of the way. The audio is meh, very muffy though, because they've been in the wash three times. And yeah, that's yeah. You're an that's idiot. Awesome. That's you right. are an idiot. <laughs> Anybody tell you're an idiot? <laughs> no, you're, you're, no, you're the first person because, now. Because, because I am the smartest man alive. Oh, here we go. Max, Max room cobbling again. Here we go. Here we go. Here These, we go. If, I, I don't know if people know this, but there's a thing it's called uh, wired earphones. You've got AirPods. Don't start bragging on. I know I have AirPods, but these are better. You know why? Because when I'm listening to music on Discord, it doesn't muffle. Okay. And second of all, these have gone into the wash for like, I don't know how many times, like eight bajillion times already. And still working perfectly. And other than for the fact that this part of the earphone doesn't work, the speaker doesn't work. This one does work though. That part doesn't work. Um, other than that, see, if you put the AirPods into a washing machine, like, like, a, like Tannis has, uh, it breaks. If yeah, but hang on, hang on. Machine, I, I put the most durable thing on. Hang Earth. on, I put the first dose. I put the first one in the washing machine last year, and it works since then. And the second time, and immediately the third time. And I do agree with you. Wired headphones are actually the best. I agree. That's why you find I'm actually wearing a wire with these headphones because I don't want the thing getting corrupt. Because I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just a genius. Anyway, um, now changing to the topic from COVID. No mate. Changing to the top to um. Can we just say these dongles are stupid? You actually put the Apple official dongle? Because I'm. Yes! Bro, there's something called the world of eBay, which I'm still waiting for a couple of parcels, by the way. eBay, where's my parcels? If you're watching this, I need my parcels, please. I'm, I'm still waiting for a watch band to come in. I, They're not gonna watch this video. Um, I've got a white watch band in order, please. I'm just talking smack please, about please it. To me. Oh, yeah. On to, on, ju just changing the topic. To back to COVID on Spotify ads. What's up with Victoria? Oh, yeah, okay. So, fun fact. Okay, so, Josh, we'll be happy now to put it on screen for you because we're here to make this life miserable. But I was, me and Josh were both listening to um, the New Jersey Deluxe Edition of Bon Jovi. And I got a Victorian government extreme risk ad. It's just, it's just it's because he lives in Paris, that's why. <laughs> because we are extreme risk. Yeah, so that's the story that we wanted to tell you. Okay. <laughs> What's up with them? Honestly. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, these are, this is my speaker. I've been rocking out lately with this <laughs> speaker. <laughs> this is my speaker. This is my speaker. Um, it's a very good speaker. Very bass heavy. Um, Josh can hear it from the other side. And while Josh is cobbling back his little poster, this is my nice poster. 
See, this, no, but this actually, no, that's an opinion. This actually conveys crucial information. It's a COVID-19 screening test. Uh, if anyone um, that went out to get their vaccination for the, um, as a HSC student, you will know. <laughs> you will know what happened. Let me just stick that back on. Anyway, we're going to move on to... Please hold! Okay, we are now, now Um, What have we watched? What have we watched over the... Okay. Oh, I've been watching a lot of Top Gear. Have you? Mm, I have, actually. I have finished pretty much every single special I could think of. Nothing beats the Teenage Special. <laughs> the Teenage actually, Car one. Uh, I mean, it's up there. It's not the, I wouldn't say it's the best one out of all of them. Eh, one of the best. I reckon the Patagonia one was a weird one. The Patagonia special. No, the, yeah, special. the Patagonia was a weird one. No, the best ones out of all of them is either the ambulance one, the amphibious cars, or the Bur the, the Burma special that they had. Oh, yeah, I didn't watch the Burma special, that's right. Oh, I, I think I've watched like, every single special like, two times. Okay, um, Nothing gets... Actually, I... Nothing but... The Aus I feel like the most boring one was the Australia special. I haven't actually watched anything that's like related to, well, other than for F1. I haven't watched anything related to cars. Because Josh has been too busy with F1. But all of a sudden, yeah, he started to buy a shit off F1. The only guy I think to it last year is only into F1. What's wrong with F1? Bro, last year you were addicted. Now you're addicted. What a change. That's exactly what happened see, to me. See, before... See, before... Oh my god. Before, you had no plan. Now you do. Can I say that my, uh, me watching F1 came in the nick of time as well? Because it was around the same time, I think I stopped watching anime as well. 59 days straight without watching any. In the, in the meantime, this man hasn't watched a single one. Exactly, because I'm a... I'm a man who watches the news, bumps out to headphones, and make fun of this man. Uh, mm. Friendly joy is going to come after me, I can oh tell. God. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, anyway! I want to show you something. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, everyone knows that they have a little collection of uh, stuff. I have a collection of planes, uh, if you didn't know. But um, what Tannis has is a collection of boxes like these. Airport. Oh, hang on! <laughs> hang off. on! We're off again! He's off. He's off. <laughs> oh, sorry, hang on. Before we continue, before we continue, um, see how Josh has a collection of planes? So do I. My infamous collection. I've got actually a lot more than that. I have no idea where they've all gone, though. But there's my collection. Uh, and, but nothing, nothing beats. God, these stairs. Okay, nothing beats. He, uh, if you want to know, infamous... if you want, if you want to know, his stairs doesn't have hand railings, which is a, a bit, a bit, a bit strange, and I think it's not very safe or COVID safe of him. He's got. Oh my god. <laughs> Hang on. He's ah. actually bothered to collect. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. So uh, let's flip this around. Now before I wasn't dealing with a wire, now I am, so it's a bit more annoying. Okay, this is my collection of Apple products. My Apple products, everything that I've owned. Oh my um, God. Me and Josh actually brought this. Remember when we bought this, Josh? Oh yeah, we went out and bought that. I remember that. Yeah, I still got it right here. Make it work. I still got Do it right here. It. Do something good. Make, make it play smooth and <clears> then <throat> Okay, Google. Place move 95.3. Streaming smooth 95.3 from radio app. There we go. Right, well that well that's playing smooth 95.3. Um this is my USB super drive. The thing I hate about mattresses. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, but that's my collection. These are the AirPods. Are those my ones? Yeah, this is my AirPods here, which is broken now. <laughs> my Apple Pencil. Uh, this is my leather case. This is my third leather wait, case. I have to order you, another replacement. Wait, didn't you make like a review on, on these products? Um, 
I haven't made a review on that yet. I haven't made a review on this. This is the old iPhone 7, Josh. Remember that one, well? He actually, no, a little backstory on his previous one before that. Can you make smooth that down, please? Like, shut up. Oh, sorry. Okay, Google. Shop up, please. Oh, thank you. God. Yes. Okay. You make it. A little backstory. Um, he had a iPhone 5s before his iPhone 7, which is before his iPhone 12. Oh. <laughs> Do you still I have it? That really well. Well, you still have the, the box for the 5s. S. Do you have the 5s? No, I no. I disassembled it. I took out the chips and put it in the bin. Oh my god. Okay. So he had to. Ha he had a phone like this, which is like my SE, a different color though, but it's basically the same thing. No, same color. Um. But other than that, he... Bro, remember, that phone was a bootleg phone, 100%. I remember him. I think what, I think one of my mates told me. He did a drop test on his phone. He's like, yeah, it will definitely not break. And yeah, yeah. He drops his phone to about like this high, I think. Drops it. Yeah, got that. And then breaks it. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty much shattered. No idea what happened. No idea what was going on in my head at the time, but it happened. Um, this is the... I'm still, I'm still going through my oh collection. My <laughs> it's still going. Still going through my collection. Oh, my um, oh by the way, free uh, Chromecast, everyone wants any. Uh, $10,000. Um, same requirements as Josh, need a G2G pass and all that. Um, I'll be putting, uh, uh, yeah, I'll be people... putting these Qantas headphones on, on auction if you want them. They're like cheap economy headphones. Why do I have this? I don't know. The box for it, I don't know why. I kept the box for it. What app, wait, do you have any other boxes? They're all... Actually, let me show you. Oh, I need to get up there. This is my, um... iPhone box that I've currently got now. It's, it's a good box. Um... I've got a lot of Apple Watches. The Apple Watch boxes here. Um, what, what wait, let's see Josh's boxes. Know, what Joseph doesn't know... Is the box to the wireless keyboard and mouse 250. From HP. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I think I might have that exact box uh, for my mouse. Hang on, let me quickly oh, grab it. Back up. Uh, no idea. Don't ask why we keep boxes, but we just do. Uh, I got an email. What? Oh, no one cares about. Don't worry, it's from school. No one could care about it less. Okay. Uh. So yeah, that's my infamous box collection, which I'm now gonna pack away. And so please hold, Josh. Please put some hold music. Oh, oh, oh. Later. Oh, All right, I think that's it. I think we're done, yeah, aren't we? We're done for our first. I think that went well. That would be well. Let's hope this file doesn't corrupt now. All right, I'll see you in the next uh, edition of Lockdown Lounge. I hope everybody likes staying at home because we are going to go into lockdown forever. Nobody from New South Wales is going anywhere. We will have two million police officers standing at the corner of every street to monitor every single citizen. We're really watching very closely. I hope this really will be devastating. We don't like to be heavy handed, but what we need to say today now is that if you leave home, we will give you a death sentence. Please know that you will be shot in the face, and I hope it's painful.